In this quick video, I will talk about the course infrastructure and how to communicate with us and others in the class. So there are three main places to find information. The first is StudyP, of course. The second is our lectures repository. And the third is our dashboard. And then there are a couple of ways where to find help if you're struggling with the homework or have any questions, which I'm also going to explain. So first of all, we have the StudyP course. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, like every other StudyP course, um, there are announcements. The announcements will also be in another place. I'm going to talk about that later. But first of all, StudyP is your place to go um, to see the lecture videos. So they're here in Courseware. And here under Introduction, we see um, what subtopics there are. And inside these subtopics, you can look at different videos. So for example, this here is the first part, who we are. And then you can start the next one like this. And there's one video after the other. Also on StudyP, we want to use um, Blubber and the forum, as well as the meetings for our live meetings. The second important um, place to find information is our lectures repository. Um, Philip already showed that in a previous video. This is where all the codes, so all our Jupyter notebooks are going to be uploaded once we dump them. You see most of them are a year old. They are still um, from last year. And we will update them as soon as we get to the respective weeks. Um, in the repository, we can also launch Binder to interactively look at the, um, at the um, content of the lectures, as Philip showed you already for the whirlwind tour. And you can't only open the whirlwind tour inside this, um, but you can also open any other notebook for the respective weeks. You can also open them non-interactively directly from GitHub because GitHub is going to render them um, basically looking like a PDF. OK. And then also in the readme of our repository, um, there are notes about recordings. And this lecture is held for the third time by us. And the lecture recordings from 2018 and 2019 are also available on YouTube and on OpenCast. Um, and the content is going to be different. You see it's already a bit different from 2018 to 2019. And this time, it's going to be a bit different as well. So if you want to look at contents from last year, either on YouTube, if you remember, um, or if you uh, study at the University of Osnabrück, also on OpenCast, um, to see the contents of the last years. And you can also view the um, notebooks at their respective state. I'm going to talk in the next video about how to install um, everything necessary such that um, you don't have to look at this for now. And then the third place um, to go for information is our dashboard. Um, the dashboard is in a very early development stage. And be here with me. It, you see, I've never done any web design in my life. So you see, this looks quite ugly. Um, but it goes to show how this works. So you can sign in via GitHub because um, your GitHub profile for this class, you need a GitHub profile because you're going to submit your homework via GitHub. And um, this GitHub profile is going to be connected in our infrastructure to your um, set name, so to your um, account at the University of Osnabrück. So you can securely sign in with GitHub and then um, see the state of your homework, et cetera, in this dashboard. So we need to authorize this, um, the dashboard first. Um, so it wants to access your account. We only need your email address to match you to your etc login. And then once we're in there, this is the dashboard. Like I said, I've never, I've never done any web design. So um, this looks ugly, and it's going to be so it's the first version of this. Um, there are going to be improvements in the design and in everything about this. And here, this is basically the first place to go for your homework. So you see, first of all, it shows you how many points you got so far in the homework, so how many points that could be reached already, how many you got. Um, it shows you the announcements. This is basically a copy 
from the start IP announcement, which is also shown here. And it gives links to all other important places, and then it gives you information about the homework. OK. Um, so first of all, you see this. there are four homework already uploaded. Um, this is fake, and I'm going to delete these fake homework um, once I upload the first homework for all of you guys. This is just to show you this dashboard. And you see for every homework, you see when the deadline is, if it's still in the future, or also when it was in the past. You see how many points you got. You can even check why, but I'm going to go into detail about that in later videos. Um, I'm going to go into detail about this too. And this I'm going to explain in this video. And then you see additional information for each homework. So this is basically the first place to go, even though it doesn't look really good um, for your homework and to find all the other places in case you get lost. OK. So and you see the Jupyter uh, how the binder thingy work too. So we can look, for example, at this lecture interactively and also one code here. Good. This is where to get information. And then there's the thing about uh, how to communicate with each other. Because of the coronavirus situation, we can't see each other this year. So instead, we provide several opportunities to communicate with us. So the most casual one we want you to use is the StudIP Blueboard Chat. Tobias Thielen already explained it in this one announcement video. It's basically like a messenger. It's Really easy to use. You can just write something, ask John something, no problem at all. Um, if um, the burden to use Blubber is too high for you, we can think about using it, making a Telegram group as well. But at first, we want to try with only using Blubber as our um, as our well, non-serious means of communication. Next up, there's the Sudapi forum. Um, we would be happy if you would actively use that, and we have different um, well, rooms for the individual homework, as well as for, for example, installation problems or technical problems with the course infrastructure. We want you to ask questions that are well, structured regarding some homework problem, or for example, if we did something wrong in the homework or in the lectures. Um, we want you to ask that here, such that everybody else can see it, and that maybe even other um, people from the class can answer that in case Philip and me are too slow in answering that. Um, you see that in our dashboard, there are also links to all the forums which are currently there. Some of the information here is still mocked, but you're going to see. Um, there are two means. Then um, you can always ask, um, write us a private email. See Stinkamp and Pay Turkel. I uh, showed you these email addresses in the last video, but you can also find them under our um, StudIP account. And then lastly, the last way of how we want to communicate with you is a Stack Overflow team. So Stack Overflow, if you want to do any kind of program, you certainly know Stack Overflow. It's the first place you can you cannot program without having 20, 20 Stack Overflow tabs open. And on Stack, Overflow, on Stack Overflow, you can also make private teams. And this is a private team where only participants of this class are in. So you can ask questions here that are general programming questions, which are not necessarily concerning um, a homework, um, but are just some programming problems. Philip and me are going to be in here, and we're going to answer your questions. But we hope that the community can answer questions too. So you can simply ask a private question. Nobody else except people taking this class are going to see that. And you can make text in the dashboard, we want to nudge you on which text to use. So this is not dynamic information. This is just static things we add. We want to use certain, we want you to use certain text here such that you can find respective questions to the respective homework easily. Um, but all that is not necessary. You can even ask us directly. And this is our way of asking questions, basically, which should replace um, personal communication. Of course, like I said already in a previous video, um, on Thursdays, we also want to do meetings. Um, but Stack Overflow is really, really nice to get used to anyway. OK, 
That should be it. So where to find information, StudiaP, Lectures Repository Dashboard, where to ask questions for private questions, email, casual questions, global questions that can be answered by the community, Stack Overflow teams, more detailed questions or structured questions, StudiaP forum. StudiaP is your first place to go for lecture recordings. The lecture repository, lectures repository is the first place to go for lecture notebooks. The dashboard is the first place to go for the homework. Like I said, it doesn't look pretty yet, but we're going to get to that. Um, you can only log into this after accepting the first homework. The following video will show how to do that. And it's your go-to place to see how many points you got so far. And also it gets live information from GitHub and StudiaP about the homework, about announcements from StudiaP, about Git commits, and about forum posts. And also, as you see here, there are links to all other necessary places, including all of the ones I mentioned so far. And then to ask questions, to the P forum and the Stack Overflow team and Blue Band emails. Um, if you are logging into the Stack Overflow team, note that you first of all need a Stack Overflow account. But like I said, if you want to program, Stack Overflow is the first place you're going to go to anyway. And also, you need to tell it your at OS email address because this is the way how uh, Stack Overflow knows you basically in our organization um, of this lecture. All right, that's it for this video.